what's going on YouTube I just wanted to make a tutorial to show you how to make a histogram so so here we have an example with test scores that students received and I want to make a histogram of the scores to see how they are distributed so to do this you first highlight the data they want to make a histogram of and you one of the things that you can do is you can click on it and drag down but as you can see we have over 1500 observations so a much faster way is to use keyboard shortcuts. So press shift, control, and then down arrow. And then after this, you want to go to the insert tab. And then right here, there's a little group with, little, with that looks kind of like a mini histogram. It's a, it's this insert statistics, statistic chart. Click that. And then you have a couple options for a histogram. We're going to just click histogram right here and control X, up arrow, right arrow twice and control V. And here you can see we have a distribution of the test scores. One of the things that make histograms really powerful in Excel is how you can make different adjustments. So for example, your different elements you can add. So you can add an access title, you can add data labels, and you can add a legend, for example. So you can design a chart in the way that you would like to. And your other options that you can add as well. So for example, click on this little area right here. And more access options and here you can see there are adjustments that you can even make to the bin so as you can see it defaults having each bin which is eight, which a bin being one of these little bars in 5.1 just say you wanted it to be 10 instead. as you can see the it's much there's distribution changes also you can change the hundred the number of bins so let's just say you wanted bins. And as you can see, there are a lot more bins, and you can get a more depth understanding of the distribution, which can be extremely important if you have, you know, tons and tons of data. Let's just say, call it 15 um, for this example. We also have a overflow bin, so um, let's just call it 600. And as you can see, that that reason doesn't make much of a difference, but um, it's an option that you can have. There are even many options that you can use to change the way the chart looks. So, for example, we can go right here and, and click chart design. And as you can see, there is a to the left, there's a quick layout option that allows you to quickly change the way the chart looks. So now we can have data labels um, and there are even default chart styles. This, I'm using Excel 2019. This is available for 2016, but I don't think it's available for anything before Excel 2016. So just keep that in mind. Um, but here you can just get a couple interesting examples of how the chart looks and you can even change the chart color to be something that's better suited for your presentation so let's say you want it to be green for example and though so another thing to do that you can do is you can even change the um the font and the size of the text in these different access labels so you can access and so right you can do that by clicking on it going to home and then just take changing it like you would normal text. So 9 to 11, for example, um, to 15, even if you wanted to. As you can see, it's much, much larger. It stands out a bit more. You can even press do control B to make it bold. Or you can even make it 8, so more numbers appear. So as you can see, when changing it to 8, the numbers appear much better. Um, also, one thing, one thing that you can do to make your chart look a little bit sleeker is to remove these lines in the background. So you can do that by double clicking on one of the lines and then just press backspace. And as you can see, now the line is removed. So this makes it to where, you know, the chart looks a little bit sleeker and you can insert it to presentations. Um, have it look a little bit, a little bit, a little bit cleaner. So you can go ahead and add a title. Access title. Score. You can see. And here you have it. So in here you have a histogram of the math scores with some of the more customized options of Excel being used. So with that being said, I really hope that y'all found this tutorial to be helpful. If you did, please like, subscribe, comment, let me know if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. 
Um, and thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe. Um, have a great day. Thank you.